So, still outside, still getting some fresh air, still on the Red Bulls, and uh, we move on to Stamford Bridge. One thing's for sure, the atmosphere at Stamford Bridge ain't going to be what it was at the Emirates last night. Um, wow, that was, that was madness, absolute carnage, but yeah, loved every single bit of it. Um, as it stands, I've not got a ticket to Chelsea. If anyone has got one that wants to uh, help, help me out, Stick it in the comments section down below or DM me on Twitter at LeeGunner82. Um, yeah, if you've, if you've got a ticket for the away end at Chelsea, I'm all in. So I'll definitely have that if, you, if you've got one. Um, but yeah, we move on to Chelsea, like I say. We know what we're going to get with them. We know that they're going to play with a three at the back. Um, Conte was the first manager to do that in the league. And they won the title off of the back of it. Off of the back of um, after us beating them, ironically, 3-0. He ripped up his tactics, he ripped up his formation, and then he went with a three at the back, and the rest is history. Um, they're going to play with a two big lump, or one big lump and one little lump in midfield, um, with the back of Yoko Kante. Um, and we know that they're not going to go gung-ho against us, because they know that if they do, we can do them on the break. And they're not stupid. Conte's a brilliant manager. Um, I'm slightly jealous of, of Chelsea having him as their manager, to be honest with you. But at the same time, we have beaten them quite a few times recently, albeit not at Stamford Bridge. Um, we've done them at Wembley twice and obviously the Emirates last season. Um, so I'm slightly more confident going into this than I, than I would have been maybe a week or two ago when, when we lost up at Anfield. So, yeah, it, it's, it's a bit of an iffy one. I can't see us winning um, if we play really well into the top of our game and they're not on the top of their game. I think we'll get a draw. If not, I can't see a win. I can only see it going one way, and that's a Chelsea victory, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, let's move on. My 1-11. to 11. David Ospina, you shit, bruv. Get out. You ain't coming back in any team ever. Um, don't even care. You're a liability. I've been saying this for months. Um, why we got rid of Chesney, I'll never know. Chesney should have been number one for Arsenal. We checked number two. But what do I know? I ain't getting paid 10 million quid a year. So, Peter checking goal. Um, back three, um, I think it's fa fair to say that Wenger will probably go with that, uh, match them up man for man. Um, the back three, I'd actually go with Per Mertesacker in the middle. Um, yes, he's a snail, he's not very quick, but he is tactically and, and um, very good and he reads the game really well. And, you know, he's also got vast experience as well which can help Mustafi and Koscielny and that three sitting there with Pear just sitting deeper than the other two just mopping bits up I think that that would um, serve us well in this game um, Kalazanac left wing back um, all day long we don't even need to go down the route of why because he is just unbelievably good um, it's going to be interesting to see how he gets on with William because William's as skinny as I am and Kalazanac is going to hurt him, I think. So, so yeah, uh, Kalazanac left uh, wing back. Hector Bellerin um, played really well last night. I was shocked, actually. I was shocked at how well he played and even chipped him with the, the goal that uh, effectively killed the game off. So, so, yeah, that's my back three and wing backs. Midfield. Now, this is where I'm a little bit confused because if we go with Xhaka and Ramsey and then with Mesut Ozil in front of that, You've then got Ramsey and Ozil who don't want to do any defensive work. Um, so with that in mind, that's why I'm changing this up. Jack is going to start for me. Um, I rate the guy so highly and I just think that the last few games, he against um, Bournemouth at the weekend, I thought he, he was one of the poorest players on the pitch, although we coasted to a 3-0 victory. But I don't know what's gone on with him for the start of this season. I really expected better from him, but he's going back in my team. Um, I'm going to stick Mohamed Elneny with him. Mohamed Elneny, simple, easy player to play alongside. He'll just mop up, he'll give Xhaka the ball and Xhaka can spray and start passing around. Um, in front of them, I'm going with um, Alexis Sanchez. Alexis Sanchez played 90 minutes last night. 
Um, he's not going to play against Doncaster on Wednesday. And then after that, the following week, we play on a Monday. So he's going to have, what, nine days off, eight days off, something like that. So I can't see any reason why Alexis Sanchez would not be in the team. So I'm going with Alexis Sanchez with Mesut Ozil. Um, yes, I know you're all screaming at me. I don't rate Ozil. He's a lightweight and blah, blah, blah. And you keep picking him, Lee. The reason I'm picking him is because he's on his last chance with me. This is Chelsea away. Yeah, you done fuck all up at Anfield. Now let's see if you do anything at Stamford Bridge. If you don't, you ain't getting back in another one of my teams, mate. Um, and then obviously Lacazette up front. Um, so that's my team. Let me know down there what you guys think. Um, I can't really see a win unless we turn up and perform really well, get really lucky and Chelsea play shit. So with that being said, I'm going with score prediction of Chelsea 2, Arsenal 1, we move on. Anyway, all have a wonderful day. Smash the fuck out the like button. That always helps me along my way. And uh, leave your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Stick notifications on. Anyway, I'm going to go and have another can of Red Bull. Try and wake myself up. And uh, try and function for the day. Laters, peeps.